Hello and welcome to Wednesday, the day of Wednes. It is uh, 7.37 right now and um, just finished editing yesterday's vlog. If we just pan the camera right about there, there you go. And um, I mentioned how uh, <laughs> I, I say that like this is yesterday. Um, I can't really remember. Um, I wanted to finish editing this, go for a run come back upload eat breakfast and then we would take care of this area right here uh well i guess we gotta get started on that it is 29 degrees with the feels like of one second let me check how cold it is exactly and uh what the feels like 23 no 20 for you celsius people out there that means it's a negative one or negative negative one to negative two with the feels like of uh negative six is that how celsius works i think so it's gonna be it's gonna be fun I'll just, uh, instead of my normal two miles, I'll do one mile. So let's do that and then uh, meet back here. Okay, post run. Uh, shoot, I, I uh, forgot to record. Uh, just uh, did the mile. Um, instead of going my normal route, I just ran to the end of the street, ran back. <sighs> um, yeah, it is cold. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get working on breakfast now. Okay, it's, uh, 2.30 right now, and, uh, I mentioned that today was gonna be a bit special. Um, sometime last week, I think it was the 26th, so, might have been, so probably Saturday. Uh, I got an email about something that I had ordered not too long ago, and, um, that it would be arriving today. And that something is this, the analog pocket. And uh, if you're, if you know anything about analog or anything about uh, the, if you've been in the Game Boy, Game Boy Advance scene for the past couple of months, you would know something about this little guy. This is the analog pocket. It is a hardware clone of the Game Boy Advance. Uh, if you look at the size comparison for the uh, Game Boy compared to the uh, analog pocket, it's larger <laughs> for sure and uh, much more sleek. It's about the size of the uh, Game Boy Advance SP, if you, uh, have it, like, open all the way, and about the same thickness, pretty much, uh, so, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so the analog pocket, I ordered this, uh, as soon as they went on sale, I wanted to get the first initial, initial wave, but they s you know, this finally went on sale, bought it up instantly, and now I have it. <laughs> uh, so what this is, is essentially a, a company called Analog. They made a hardware clone of the Game Boy Advance. So you're able to play, and if I, it's in sleep mode now, if we just uh, press that button, we're going to wake. And uh, we have my... Come on, you can, there we go, there's Pokemon Emerald. And uh, we can just go through here, quit the game. And just like any other Game Boy, we can take this game out, uh, pop in. Uh, Pokemon Red, I just happen to have the Pokemon games just sitting around right here. And uh, pop it right in. Hopefully it'll just boot right up. There we go. And we can even change the color palette to uh, 
that's not the right button. It'd be. So it's analog. This is what it looked like on original Game Boy Pocket. This is the Game Boy Light, and then it's just a red variant, which is super, super cool. And just being able to, like, uh, this is, it's just neat. Growing up with, like, um, Pokemon Blue was my first video game. Played on one of these guys, a green Game Boy Color. And, uh, you know, after years of that, I have a Game Boy Advance, my original one, in the other room. Original Game Boy Advance SP. This is not my original one. The original one's in the other room. This is uh, just a black one that I picked up secondhand that uh, the light is actually working on this one. The uh, light isn't working on that one. But uh, this is the successor to it, to that whole generation of systems. You can... It's just like, what if the Game Boy was remade in 2020, 2021, 2022-ish times? And what if we put, like, made it modern and backwards compatible with every Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance SP, and Game Boy Color, well, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Game. And just having this in my hands, like, oh, this is, I, I want to just play all of my Game Boy Advance games and Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. And it even runs some homebrew. Um, so I might experiment with that, but... <laughs> it's finally it's really cool to have it in my hands and i can like load up flashcards and everything it's it's neat okay i don't really have any initial impressions on this now i do have one uh i wish it came with a little just dust cover for here but i assume you have a, you're having a game in here all the, all the time because uh when i plugged in my emerald cart it was not loading correctly. It's a clean header or clean pins or whatever. But then I popped it in my SP and it worked just fine. I tried another Emerald cart that is sitting on my desk. That didn't work. Tried the Sapphire cart right next to it. That worked. Then plugged in the Emerald cart and it worked fine. So should be okay from here on out. But hopefully for more updates, we'll uh, fix that in the future. It is fully updated and everything. Um, so... We'll see where we end up with that, but I'm going to mess around with this for a little bit and then we'll see where we end up. So catch you in a bit. Okay, so uh, I ended up playing Ghostwire Tokyo for a little bit, uh, played for a couple hours, got decently far. I feel like the game is much shorter than anticipated, but we'll see. Um, so I've had a bit of a chance to mess around with the analog pocket a bit more. And uh, I've learned some things. It's a bit finicky. The BIOS is up to date, but if I do uh, this. Is it working? No, it's not. It says uh, analog BIOS, bad header clean cartridge pins and I have my copy of Emerald uh, plugged in so obviously the solution is to just blow on it and uh, power it up again so let's let me I can just turn this on right there we go plug it in Play cartridge and now it works the thing is it works plugged into my dia uh my um sp but now that we're in game and i do this you'll notice that uh i think i played it a bit earlier but my save is gone i have no idea what happened um it was on my sp earlier but now it's gone. And that's okay because I have it backed up. But it doesn't bode well. Uh, I could probably just restore it. Um, I forget where exactly I was, but I do vividly remember having a backup of this uh, save. So I'll probably do that tomorrow. 
it's just weird. Um, you know, I expected the <laughs> it to work a bit more um, nicely, and also this is I've heard complaints of this, but it is kind of loose as opposed to um, it being like solid in a, G in a Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, or SP or something like that, or even a DS. But it's nice piece of hardware. Uh, hopefully everything can be fixed in a firmware or BIOS update. And uh, yeah, let's see, again, I j all I did was unplug it from the cartridge once, and now we're back at the um, clean cartridge, p cartridge pins error again. No idea what's going on. So uh, the BIOS is up to date. It's uh, version 1.0b. It does... Uh, Actually, no. If I go to Analog OS, yeah. It says... Ooh. So yeah, it's a, it says 1.0b. Uh, it says it was released January 30th. On the website, it says February 1st. So I'm not so sure which... It's, it's the same release, but I'll run through the BIOS update anyway and see uh, where we get. But yeah, if I just move the cartridge once, plug it back in, hit play cartridge, will it work? Now it works. See, that's really buggy. I I might need to just go over the pins once with um something, but yeah, that it's it's finicky, and um, it's nice little piece of hardware, but we need some uh, we need to fix it. Okay, I'm gonna call it here for today. Um, like I said, nice little piece of hardware. Uh, I'll probably contact support or something about it, or just uh, read what's going on. But I don't know. Still got. It's only been a couple hours, so still got a lot of experimenting to do with this little guy. For now, that's what I'm gonna call it for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you tomorrow, and until then, later.